So tonight, it is such a pleasure to present the Najib Halabi Award for Public Service. This award is named for a proud Arab American who was an early administrator of the FAA and a Navy test pilot during World War II who made the first continuous transcontinental jet flight in the United States history. On the cutting edge of aviation, Najib Elias Halabi also advanced the fight for justice by desegregating passenger terminals and pressing for equal treatment for air crews of diverse backgrounds. So it's no surprise that we are recognizing the work and life of our dear sister, our late Miriam Zayed with the Najib Halabi Award. Miriam was a tra trailblazer, clearing roadblocks for generations to come, and in some ways, some ways, helping to make someone like myself serving in the United States Congress possible. Born and raised in Chicago to Palestinian immigrant parents like myself, she had thirst for knowledge at a time when it wasn't easy for women to attend university, yet she did. She was a dedicated educator who, like so many of the teachers we know, would purchase supplies, clothes, and offer counsel, compassionate counsel to others. Miriam also had a passion for politics, as we all know, serving others and would arrange field trips with public officials to ignite civic engagement within our community. In her own community, Midiam helped lead efforts to build the area's first masjid, built on a few acres of swampy land in the middle of the mostly abandoned prairie of Bridgeview. The mosque foundation would inspire a neighborhood of new homes, a community center, and dozens of thriving businesses. Always wanting to be of service, Midiam sought a seat on the school board in 1990s. She lost that seat, but she won for all of us by putting herself in the ring. She went on to serve on the board of directors of the Illinois Humanities Council. Midian was also an entrepreneur with her own accounting practice. For those who felt on hard times, she discreetly used a sliding scale or sometimes didn't charge at all because her clients came from diverse backgrounds and she also served an ambassador of sorts, letting people get to know us through her. Her support of the Institute and its work was profound. In fact, we think this is the only second, I think this is the only, the second uh, Gibran that she's missed. The first being when she mistakenly, we mistakenly arranged it before tax season. <laughs> Miriam helped people through everyday issues and challenges that opened up doors of opportunities for families, especially our young people. She helped with college applications, to called the Social Security Office, translated documents. I know how these small things can be a difference between eating or not, your child having a future or not, or getting the health care you need. It is everything. For the Arab American community, she was a force for good to be reckoned with, who could navigate through the trickiest of situations, who doesn't know, who <laughs> doesn't know what it's like um, this is me trying to say, who none of us women in here, we all know what it's like to have raices in the room, aka too many men in the room. Yeah. Miriam was the person who could bring everyone together. Her commitment to all of us extended to her final days when she secured confirmation from the Illinois House Speaker that April would be officially designated as Arab American Heritage Month. For how... For how much she meant and did for her family and her community, for all of us, United States, United States Senator Dick Durbin submitted a statement for the record in honor of Miriam that we have here that we'll present to her family. In short, Miriam's life was overflowing with moments that were like droplets that rippled out and created waves. Think of her students, her clients, her community. We will never know exactly how far all those ripples went and what waves they created or how their tides lifted others in their turn. Gibran said, I came to say a word, and I shall say it now, but if death prevents me, it will be said by tomorrow, for tomorrow never leaves a secret in the book of eternity. Miriam's life was one lived and lived to uplift others. She gave her present to create a tomorrow for all of us. On behalf of the Arab American Institute Foundation, please join me in welcoming Khaula Murad, Midiam's daughter, to accept the Najib Halabi Award for Public Service on behalf of Midiam's family. Thank you. 
Well, I'm very privileged to be up here. My mother would be so honored to be even mentioned with tonight's award recipients. Good evening and assalamu alaikum. My name is Khawla Murad. I am the daughter of the late Maryam Zayed. Allah yarhamha. May God bless her soul. Tonight, the Arab American Institute is honoring my mom for her hard work and dedication to our community and country. I am honored and privileged to be here tonight with my siblings and aunts to accept the Najib Halabi Award for Public Service on her behalf. My mother was a beautiful and extraordinary person, a strong, charismatic woman, so much so that so many naturally gravitated towards her. She was one of nine children and all came to her for advice and guidance and courage. She was a voice of reason and made all things possible. As a wife of 48 years, mother to four children, grandmother to 13, her commitment to her family and to her community were always her top priorities. Throughout her life, she shared herself with a broad range of professional, cultural, and political organizations, as well as everyday people like you and me. My mother took pride in her heritage and it played a vital role in the lives of so many. She unified our community and in doing so, never faltered in the face of challenges. She wasn't looking for recognition, but rather a voice for the people. To quote our Imam, Sheikh Jamal Saeed, Miriam Zaid was a righteous person, a community leader. She broke the stereotypes against women and worked to give the community a voice. My mother was very inspirational, dedicated, selfless, as a Palestinian, as an Arab, as a Muslim, and as an American. She was a prominent educator and community activist. I stand here before you this evening as my mother is being honored for her commitment to the community. I know if she were here today to receive this award, she would recall the words of Khalil Gibran, not to enhance what is, but to advance what will be. My mother always thought about the future of the Arab Americans and her beloved homeland. In the end, it was about the work my mother did for the betterment of all. My family and I would like to thank the Arab American Institute for giving my mother the platform to be able to do such wonderful things. My mother remained committed to advancing the work of many organizations, but the two that were the most dear to her heart were the Arab American Institute and the Arab American Democratic Club. She was very proud to be part of these organizations, and due to her involvement with the Arab American Institute, she was able to reach and connect with individuals that guided her to better herself and our community. I would like to thank Jim and Maya for, every, for their continued friendship with my mother. Thank you and good evening. Alaikum <laughs> assalam.